What's going on guys? G2 here. Welcome back to the bench. And as promised, today we're going to go over all the things that this little guy can do. You're talking about a three and a half inch cleaning kit that partnered with your standard AKM can do literally a million little things. So um, I'm not going to go into detail as we're doing this. We're just going to run some tunes and I'm going to show you everything that this guy can do. So before we get into that, we are going to make sure that our firearm is safe and ready. And it is. All right. Let's get into it. AK-47 or AK cleaning kit, um, pretty universal, really, really cheap, um, but what these can do is really awesome. So um, two parts, so obviously we've got our top here, so we're going to take our top off and eh, take your top off. One of the easiest ways to take this stuff out because it can get a little jammed in there is to get your cleaning rod and just kind of start it in and pull your pieces out like so. All right, so you'll see you've got your cover, your tube, and then you'll have your jag here. Depending on what type of kit you have, um, your jag may look a little different. Yours may have an eyelet. Um, mine does not. Mine has the threads here, which is you would wrap cord, you know, a shoelace or cord or whatever around this paracord, and use that to ream the barrel. <clears throat> Second thing you have here is a multi-tool. Now you notice the notch on this multi-tool is designed so when you're placing your jag on your cleaning rod, you can use this to tighten it because the jag spins on itself, so it makes it a little hard to tighten. So in addition to this, <clears throat> you've got a flat edge here. Um, you also have a little indentation here. Looking at the physical multi-tool itself, you'll see there are two parts of this. There's a kind of a beveled edge and then a flat edge. That's important and that was designed that way for a specific reason, which I'll show you here. And you have your nylon brush. Now, some of the older models may have a metal, but most of them converted to nylon for the reason that it reduced, you know, it's resistant to rust. And corrosion. The metal ones would tend to rust and ruin your entire kit. And then of course finally you have a punch. A small ended punch and a large ended punch as well. Both of these are they're set this way for a specific reason. It's not just one length. The, the diameter here is exactly the same as the diameter of your pins to help you push them out. <clears throat> of course you have your, got your uh, rod. Now your cap here, um, we'll show you what that can be used for. Your tube here is just more, it's more than just a tube, guys. Um, there are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's probably, I think I have seven or eight things that this tube can be used for other than just casing your products or casing your, your kit. So I'm going to show you the proper way to put the kit back together. Um, some of you may have an additional piece in your kit and it's going to look like a small pin basically kind of this size and it's going to rattle and what that actually is is it's a slave pin for your trigger my kit doesn't have it it's just the way it is i don't have a kit they seem to get lost that's one of the pieces that get lost the most so if you have that little slave pin um, fantastic hang on to it it helps you assemble your trigger outside of the receiver and then you can drop your trigger in and use that pin um, as essentially a slave pin kind of like the way the tapcos are set up now to where they have that little buffer tube that holds everything in place um, when they initially introduced this weapon they gave that because the semi-auto is not too hard to put together but the automatic version you're talking about um, you've got rate reducers, you've got um, sears, you have uh, probably three or four other parts that need to be 
put into this trigger system, and it's, it is a total bear to try to do without using that slave pin. All right, so putting it back together. If you're looking at the tube, you'll notice there are two holes. You have a large hole here and a small hole here. Now, essentially what that's for is for your cleaning rod to go through, and you can use this to use your cleaning rod. But the f if you were to look at this from the inside, you'll see that this smaller hole is, hole is punched in, and there is a lip. Um, and this one is more flat, there's not much of a lip. So when we're putting this in, you want to have that smaller hole up, okay? And you're going to start with your jag. You're going to put your jag in, just like so. And you're going to put your brush just to the right of your jag, okay? And you're going to place that in, like so. Then you're going to get your multi-tool. Now I mentioned how there's a... F a beveled side and a flat side by design think that little lip is creating just enough space for you to put this beveled side up right over top you see how it's going right over top of that hole and it will not get in the way and then finally if you have a little your slave pin you would put that right down in there we don't have it so we're just going to put our punch in like this on the other side next to our jag and everything fits in there nicely it doesn't shake it doesn't rattle it doesn't make noise and it closes perfectly fine there is more room in here if you want to put an additional um, firing pin so some people like to carry the firing pins uh, the pins or the AKs tend to have issues so you would put that right smack down the middle of your whole kit right here and it would close perfectly fine. And there you go. Like I said, when you want to take everything out, it's sometimes hard to grab those things. Um, just use your cleaning rod, thread it into, I don't know, whatever you want to do. You want to thread it into your jag, you want to thread it into your brush, it doesn't matter to me. Um, you don't have to thread it all the way, just uh, one or two. And when you pull it out, everything comes out nicely. Okay? Alright, basics. Let's get into the hacks.